I played KMAC in a $500 MUT tournament and it came down to the final play of the game. Watch till the end to see who wins. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another MUT gameplay. Another post comm, but I mean this gameplay is too good not to post. It's versus KMAC, $500 PL tournament and um, you know KMAC is someone who's really good on defense, runs very unique offenses and the offense he ran it versus me, honestly, hopefully it doesn't give you guys some ideas. It's right here, he's screaming early. Third and four, now fourth and four. And, um, you know, this gameplay is slightly outdated, but like I said, it's still a great gameplay. As right there, what happened to Julio Jones? I'm going to rewind it real quick. Look at him. He's running the route smoothly, and then he just stops for a second. Ends up being a nice defensive stand, nice KO by Calvin Johnson and K-Mac. It's right there. There goes Lamar. There goes Peyton Hillis, juking in, juking out. And, man, after I saw that, bro, I'm not going to lie, I shit my pants. How am I going to stop Peyton Hillis, Angry Runs, or Freight Train, or whatever he has, Wrecking Ball in the backfield in a two tight end, whatever this is, with some auto motions? See right there, man. Like, how do you stop Peyton Hillis? He breaks the first tackle no matter what. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. He get, we gave him a short field, and honestly, right here, we played pretty good defense. Get that nice Troy Polamalu screamer off the edge. And um, this was, I uh, did end up streaming this gameplay, so if the quality is a little low, that's why I am improving it. I have already improved it. So higher quality gameplay is coming soon. It's right here. Peyton Hillis. We were worried about him on the run game. Somehow he ends up cooking us on a streak for a touchdown. That was honestly a dot. Split the seams in that cover two. And we got to get back on track. I mean, we're down in possession. We're down seven points. Just really got to pick up this blitz and then start to cook up. It's right there. I love that play, man. I've been spamming that play all year long. Wide trail. Amazing cover three beater. And right here. We're getting screamed at. I don't know. I, I was not comfortable at all in this gameplay. This dude, Pete Werner, I don't know why he was blitzing him, if he knew something, but he kept blitzing Pete Werner out of all people um, on that left side, and the A-gap was just coming in over and over and over again. So finally had to mix it up, run a little bit of play action, run a little bit of bunch strong nasty, and we're, now we're starting to cook, man. We're starting to hit our RPOs. We're starting to run a little read option, excuse me, play action. And, you know, we're, we're finally moving the ball right here. He gets in this whatever this is. I think over G, we end up just passing the RPO, man. When in doubt, RPO it out, especially in the red zone, man. That's the favorite, best, easiest thing to do. Um, some people have defense for it. I feel like a lot of people have defense for now compared to before. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. You just got to utilize those RPOs, man. As much as it's cheese, as much as people hate on them, I love running them in the red zone. Very cheap and easy yards to get touchdowns. It's right here, we play good defense, Peyton Hillis breaks that first tackle. And I'm not gonna lie, man, in this gameplay, like I said, the first few plays, I'm like, oh, okay, we're not gonna be able to stop the run. After a little bit, we started playing better run D. It's right there, Shannon Sharp cooks our cornerback wide open post on third and 12. Um, just a rule of thumb, man, there's always gonna be a post somewhere on third and down, third down, and for some reason, I didn't guard it. Right here, we guarded the auto motion pretty well, but this dude, Shannon Sharp, is fighting forward, getting tons of yards. And here he goes again, auto motion, left side, nice little swing pass. And Shannon Sharp is actually the one killing us. It's not even Payne Hillis, it's Shannon Sharp. He's getting touched at first downs, he's getting rush yards, um, receptions. It's right there, once again, Shannon Sharp open. We ran a cover two, and look at this man. He is juking, he is spinning, he is jiving. I'm like, okay, Shannon Sharp probably has all his yards, honestly. Uh, right here, he put a curl on the field. I don't know what that combo was. I think he, maybe he thought I was going to run man. And, you know, I think I mixed it up pretty well. Right here, thank, thankfully, Isaiah Pacheco makes the tackle. Right here, we're just going to run a stock cover four. Make him somehow throw a dot. And, you know, what he ends up doing is taking three. So, W for us right there. Definitely um, always a win when you allow your opponent, you know, when you allow him, when you allow your opponent to not pretty much get a touchdown, when you hold them to three is what I'm trying to say, um, especially in this year's game, and when especially when you're down possession. So like I said, this gameplay, this is a fast gameplay, man. Both of us are moving the ball up the field. Both of us want a true clock. Is right here. I'm going going into clock mode. Nice little angle out to Gronk. Um, it was open. Get that animation, um, even though it was open right here. He ran commit. He ran commit. He got very aggressive. He ended up run committing. And I fall down at the one. Big mistake in this gameplay. You'll see, man. Every time I play K-Mac, it's like his life depends on it. You know, I'm on the one yard line. And I can never get in the one yard line. Like, look at this, man. He's in goal line. Something that's always kind of tricked me is, you know, uh, when someone matches goal line to, you know, just a gun says. Right here, 
we actually hit the in route, but he ends up getting there right in time. So we're going to have to settle for three. So I probably should have scored. I really just didn't want came back to have the ball. He's running in an annoying offense. I have no idea how to stop it. So I don't mean I'm fine with that, I guess. As long as we don't let him score. It's right here. He could have thrown a pick. Honestly, that sh I'm not going to say that should have been a pick. Definitely should have been not completed. Um, right here, great defense. We run man coverage across the board. There's no one open. And he's going to end up throwing the ball away. Right here, once more, we're just going to blitz, get to half. And unless something crazy happens, at Payton Hillis, no yards for him. So not a bad half, considering the fact that we got stopped on the first drive of the game. Um, like I said, K-Mac is a defensive player who loves running unique offenses. Not a really good matchup for a lot of players in the community, especially those who run meta. He's really good versus meta. Is right here. I mean, man, this dude, Shannon Sharp, I really didn't know what to do versus these swing passes. Um, I tried putting like zero purples right there. Somehow Calvin actually ends up playing it. I think a baseline press look honestly does the job because the, the corners don't get blocked by the receivers on the edge. It's right there. Perfect example. Isaiah Pacheco comes up, makes a big play. But the thing is, like, he has passing plays too. It's not like he's just going to run that every play. Maybe if it was like, you know, run every play, it would be easier to stop. But... This was pretty bad defense. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I had, like I said, there's going to be a post somewhere, especially with a tight end apprentice. You got to guard it. I just ran two hooks and uh, just crashed down, sent three. And honestly, like, I don't know what I was thinking. It's just like when I see a different type of look besides bunch, trips, you know, bunch tight end even, it's very hard for me to, like, visualize what play might be coming. Um, reality is going to be like a high-low. It's going to be a corner route. It's going to be a drag. So I just got to keep it simple right here. We actually send the screamers and Lamar Jackson is not able to get the ball out right here. We are fourth and 18 really just play the sticks. I got so scared when I seen Peyton Hillis open in field in space, but you know, we end up making tackles beautifully. So right here, honestly, all we have to do is we almost give the ball right back. All we have to do is go get seven, go get seven. And this game is the ball is in our court right here. He shaded down hard flats end up having that cover three cloud look and the corner out double post beats it right here. Now we're starting to cook up a little bit. We're starting to cook up a little bit, hitting our same streaks, um, making it hard for him to blitz right here. I missed the tight end. I didn't have him late. I had him early on the cut. So we're like, you know what? Run it back, run that shit back. And we missed the tight end again. We actually end up making a decent read, but I'm ha I have this tight end on the cut. I'm just so scared to throw it because K-Mac has a good user right here. Like you could see, man, I'm not making, I'm missing reads. I'm missing easy reads at that. I had this route open. This is a great setup. Uh, I'm going to break it down real quick. I have this little out going there to stretch this defender, stretch this defender just in case he's in a cloud. I have this uh, running back out just in case he blitzes his slot. It's an easy, uh, easy five yard read. Run, uh, streak just to clear out this zone and this zone right here pretty much. Um, and then I have these two routes to occupy the user. One is going to be this little in and then out we know this play is called i, be, I believe it's called smash return um or it's the other one bench pivot and then we have a tight end post which honestly i could have just thrown it right there zipped it up but you know his user was in the area obviously uh and right here easy first down he's using pete werner i mean i don't know this dude has negative change of direction no way he could get to that we end up missing every single read on the field and we honestly could have maybe taken off for a first. I did not want to fumble. So this play looked honestly very awkward. Nonetheless, after all that, we're still going to go for it. And what happens? We get caged. So Fred Warner, I should have, I did highball it, but he just, he just, that's what happens when you have Tyree Kill in the slump, guys. Um, you know, Tyree Kill is pretty good. He's fast, obviously, but he just cannot highball it to him. So great defense by him. I don't know why I went for it, honestly. I think I was just frustrated by the fact that I was gonna get held to three once again. And I mean, this dude, Shannon Sharp at this point has 200 total yards. I mean, this man, this is looking like Christian McCaffrey and I couldn't stop him whatsoever. This is a demonic formation. Honestly, I like I said, I wasn't playing bad versus it. This could be way worse. He could have Vanguard out there. He could have, you know, like three lit up running backs. Um, it's really Shannon Sharp this is the guy that kill, is killing us and Peyton Hillis is a decoy at this point. Right here, we're shifting our D-line. It's not even like he's clocking either. He's like, he's just calling high at the right time. Um, it's just this offense makes it makes the clock just drip down. So this is honestly a pretty ugly game, like I said. 
Um, it does come down to the wire. We had to play a little bit of D right here, and we just don't. We're letting this dude Shannon Sharp kill us up and down the field, whether it's a run, whether it's a pass. I just had no idea what to look for versus him. And, you know, it doesn't help the matter the fact that this man's is good on defense too. So uh, here we go, man. Uh, like I said, I probably should have been trying to score quickly. It's just the way the game went. And the amount of third and fourth downs he was converting, I just was getting a little frustrated. Just one of those games. Right here, we're running the ball every play pretty much. I don't know how we get out of there. We should have. I'm not. No, you don't score right there, obviously. But, you know, we could have had a chance to score. Um, we're in this scenario where you have to clock it out perfectly. And versus really good defensive players, it's very hard. Right here, it's actually working out pretty well. Gronk, tight end drag, smash return. Um, and then there goes the RPO. Julio all the way down to the one. And here we go. Darkness, hello, my old friend. We're down to the one yard line. And what was I saying before half? My man's K Mac plays like his life depends on it when someone's at the one yard line. He has the best sheds, the best gap shoots. Julio cannot fight for us. He actually does fight for us, and we still are not able to get in. Right here, we're just trying to pass. Honestly, what we're going to do, we're going to try to take off with Lamar Jackson. We're going to block everyone. Nasty route combo, nasty play setup. And we're trying to roll out because we have a fast QB. I should have rolled out to the strong side. Here we go, man. I mean, we're just we're just in a mental pretzel. Fourth down and goal. Can we get in? No chance. Not even close. K Mac holds the door um, in the red zone. He plays amazing defense all game. Amazing tackles. And yeah, you won't see this ever again. 17 to 10 ball game. Shout out to K Mac for the match. $500 PL tournament. Um, this wasn't the finals or anything. I believe this was honestly round one. But you guys love K-Mac, and you guys, I felt like this was just a great game play to post and post calm over, give you some analysis. And honestly, this is probably K-Mac's like 25th offense he's ran all year long. He's probably in like something else now. Um, but GG to him, he played great, and I'm sure we'll play again sometime before the year's over. And if we get another good game, I'll definitely post it. So appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Stay easy, stay blessed. Peace.